Welcome to another edition of This Is My Model Y, my channel for Tesla Model Y uh, content. So before I get started here and I review the full self drive, which I've had for almost a month, two to three weeks actually, uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, like the video, subscribe to the channel for all some amazing content for Tesla, all Tesla related products, reviews, um, any updates, everything like that. So let's get started. Um, we got the full self drive update 12.3.3 and it is pretty fascinating to say the least. Uh, when you do use it, you're, you're, it's easy to use. You just pull the stick down and you have to make sure that you have your navigation on. So you're navigating to a certain destination, you pull the stick down, pretty much drives for you. Uh, well, it does drive for you. Um, there's a couple of things that are a little bit different. It does go faster than the speed limit. So where we do live, there are speed cameras. So you have to watch out for that. Um, also, when you get up to a stop sign or a four-way stop or a two-way stop, your car is stopping or even a red light, your car will stop quite a bit of distance be, uh, before the crosswalk. So something to look out for. It always creeps up after, t tends to stop twice and then goes. If you're stopping at a stop sign, it will stop for like almost three seconds and then it'll proceed. Uh, anything other than that, I haven't really had any phantom braking that people talk about. I have noticed that my windshield wipers tend to go off a lot more. So, which is odd because people talk about the windshield wipers not working, the auto wipers on uh, the Tesla Model Y, Model 3, Model S, X, whatever it is. But I find it's complete opposite. Uh, when it is in auto, my, my wipers tend to work. Uh, more even when it's not even raining, they just come on sp uh, sporadically, right? And I find that happens a lot when you're in full self-drive mode. So those are a couple things that you want to look out for. Uh, a few of the other things I'd say if you're going to go into full self-drive mode, uh, it's a little bit annoying that you have to keep hitting your hand on the wheel. It, uh, I guess that prevents you from not, if you're not paying attention, that you have to still pay attention because it isn't beta or supervised. And the biggest, biggest thing, this is the news that everyone was waiting for in Canada anyways, you can now subscribe to Full Self Drive on a monthly basis. So in the United States, it's $99 a month. And in Canada, it's $99 a month. So we did end up subscribing, which is a lot better than paying $16,000 plus tax up front for the Full Self Drive. So now that we are subscribed, we will do a lot more tutorials with the Full Self Drive. We'll have uh, live uh, drivings where I'll be driving in the full self-drive mode. You can follow along. So again, don't forget to like the channel or subscribe to the channel. Like this video. And this is for all your Tesla Model Y related content. We have a bunch of stuff planned coming for the summer. So don't uh, forget to hit those buttons. And follow me on all the other social media platforms. Uh, X is this is my Model Y. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy the video. Once again, subscribe, like. If you have any questions about the full self-drive, throw them in the comments below and I will certainly answer those. Okay, thank you.